My name's Riley. I was lucky enough to be selected to be part of Ephra AM this year. But sadly for you, you're gonna have to see a lot of this face. This is my family. That's my mom. This is my dad. Here's my brother. Come back. Just kidding, he goes to college in Oklahoma. Here are some things I enjoy. This is my favorite couch. This is the TV we never watch. This is my bike. Sad and neglected. This is my car. Here's where I edit videos. Hey guys, I'm at my video editing desk. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on Effort AM this year. Peace. Good morning, Ephrata. My name is Peter. And I'm Drew. And these right here are Bananagrams. Today is Thursday, October 3rd. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. Today, a representative from Goshen College will be here at 9 o'clock. Tomorrow, a representative from Eastern University will be here at 8 o'clock, and a representative from Dickinson College will be here at 1.15. Any students interested in meeting with the representative in the CRC, please sign up in Schoology. It's that time of year. Be sure to check the daily themes for Spirit Week. Giving you guys a quick run through, today is Color Wars, 12th grade wears white, 11th red, 10th blue, 9th black, and Friday is that good old purple and gold. College-bound juniors and seniors, come to Financial Aid Night on Thursday, October 10th at 6.30 p.m. in the EHS Auditorium. A representative from Pennsylvania Higher Education Assistant Agency will be here to, rep here to present information on all things financial aid. Sign up for the ASVAB in the counseling office today. If you are in 10th, 11th, or 12th grade and need some help making career decisions, then consider taking the ASVAB. The ASVAB is designed to help you learn more about yourself and the world of work, explore occupational skills in line with your interests and skills, and develop a strategy to realize your career goals. This free assessment is offered at EHS on Friday, November 1st. Stop in the counseling office to sign up today. There is absolutely no military commitment. We have some pretty exciting news. We have been able to extend the deadline to turn in permission Woo! forms for the Cutstown University field trip until today. Stop by the counseling office and grab a form today. This is going to be an awesome trip. You don't want to miss it. Attention all members of the class of 2022. A link for voting for class officers is live. The link is attached to its Schoology update at 2.15 yesterday, and you may vote until 3 o'clock on Friday. Thank you. Attention future leaders. You have an opportunity to be selected to attend the Hobie Youth State Leadership Seminar this coming May. Two 10th grade students will be selected based on their response to the following. Many leaders are determined and committed to a cause. Write about something you are passionate about and explain how you could lead others to care about your cause. Please submit your brief essay to the counseling office by tomorrow, October 4th. I want to siphon your blood. I did the thing. You happy? Blood drive signups continue during lunches. Be sure to sign up in order to donate and pick up the required forms before October 11th. And now over to Kevin with the news. This time for the news? In today's news, talks of the mysterious Planet 9 that may or may not be orbiting the sun far beyond the borders of our solar system, previously thought to be set by Pluto, are now being called into question. Some scientists question if the celestial body is really a celestial body at all, and could possibly be a black hole the size of a baseball. However, the basis that exists in the first place is still being hypothesized. On this day in history, in 1849, the last known sighting of the legendary poet Edgar Allan Poe is recorded. Poe would be found in the street gutter in a wildly intoxicated state shortly after he disappeared and was never heard from again. Now to Junior's with the lunch. Walk, go. 
Good morning, Efra. I am here with the amazing Dr. Galen. And lunch for today is hot dog with roll. Southern turkey barbecue with a whole grain roll. Buffalo chicken and four cheese pizza. Italian hoagie. Crispy chicken salad. Fruit and yogurt buffet with a muffin. Sauerkraut. Baked beans. Coleslaw. Toss salad. Fresh broccoli and cu or cucumber dip. Applesauce, fresh fruit, or that amazing slushy. Yum yum. Love all. Yesterday in sports, the freshman football team improved their record to four wins and no losses with a 45-15 victory at Peckway Valley. The team travels to Lebanon next Wednesday. Go Mounts! Today's boys soccer is home versus E-Town, field hockey is at CV, and girls soccer is at E-Town. Now back to the main desk. Anyone interested in being involved with the dance team here at high school, sign-ups are underway in the athletic office. Anyone who is interested in joining a book club, our first meeting will be today after school in the library. This is different than the Reading Olympics. You don't need to bring anything to the meeting. See you there. The new chapter of the Science and National Honor Society is currently accepting applications for sophomores, juniors, and seniors. See Mr. Kellogg in room 107 or Mr. Ewing in room 111 for an application and more information. Applications are due Monday, October 7th. Once again, it's that time of year. We are pleased to announce that this year's EHS Homecoming Dance will be held on October 5th from 7 to 10 p.m. Join us for a night under the stars and pre-order tickets during lunches for $10. You are also welcome to buy tickets at the door for the price of $12. See you then. Now we have some thoughts by President Marzak. You know what makes great hair for a snowman? Real hair. Don't ask me why. It just works. And that was thoughts by President Marzak. Thank you, Ephrata. Woo! <laughs>